In this video, we're going to be talking about Python arrays versus lists. This is a, uh, I've been waiting to want to do this. Okay, so first of all, before we get into really anything, in Python, lists are not arrays, all right? Python lists and Python arrays are two separate things. That is what this video is about. Um, it's a very common mistake and it's one of my pet peeves. Um, where do I see it? Well, I see it with people unfamiliar with Python, those people I completely understand. I mean, learning is difficult. Um, or people unfamiliar with Python, sorry. <laughs> I jumped ahead of myself. And those people, you know, whatever, they, they don't know. So that's cool. People new to Python, I already said, you know, that's thing, that's your learning, that's okay. Um, now we start getting to the places where I'm a little more frustrated. I see this a lot on coding challenges. This is just lazy, all right? If you're writing a coding challenge and you don't, for Python, and you don't know the difference between a Python array and a Python list, and you are calling something an array when it's really a list, you are wrong. Stop doing it. It's just lazy. And you need interview questions. Oh my gosh. People actually make this mistake in interview questions. And I'm not talking about the people being interviewed. I'm talking about the people doing the interviewing. They don't know the difference and it's, it's um, frustrating. Okay, so uh, why does it bother me? I think I over, went, went over this because it's just wrong. It's wrong. Okay, so what are Python lists? Python lists are an, they're an ordered sequence of heterogeneous elements. I actually got that word out. I did not think I was. I will mess it up later. Okay, so here's a good example. We've got a list that is we're going to call stuff, and we put a we put an integer in there. We put a string, and then we put some object. We have no idea what that object is. Um, hopefully we define it earlier. Um, and then we can access uh, the, by uh, the index. So we want to uh, get stuff with an index of one. That's going to be Apple. And we print that out and it works. And yeah, I'm sure you've used lists. They're wonderful. Everyone loves them. Um, well, what are Python arrays then? Okay. They are an ordered sequence of homogeneous elements. Basically, this is just a wrapper for C arrays. All right. That is... That's it. That's pretty much all you need to know. But let's explore it a little bit more. Um, you can read the manual. Uh, this module defines an object type, which can be compact, which can compactly represent an array of basic values. I'm not going to go through the rest of it, but that's that's the gist of it. All right. Um, yes. So here is the array class. Um, yes, it is a class. So you have to import it. Um, it's a module. I mean, it's a class. It's a class within a module. Sorry. <laughs> um, so you need a type code and then an initializer. So a new array whose items are restricted by type code and initialized from an optional initializer value. So that, what does that mean? Well, here we go. So we import array here, and then we're going to make a numbers array and we're going to say array dot array and then, oh, I, what is that? I don't know. And then a list. Okay. This is that type code. So we're going to be saying, I believe this was, oh, I forget what this is. It's some, it's an, you're telling it's a number type. I forget what the actual name was, but in Python, it's just going to be, you're saying, Hey, this is going to be a list of integers and that's all this array can hold. And here is the numbers I want in there. Um, if you look in that, the initializer. So that's, that is our initializer. And then we can print it out and see, look, oh, it prints it out. Not like it would print out a list. Amazing. Well, wow. it's probably because it's not a list. <laughs> okay. You can iterate over an array, just like you would a list or any other iterator. All right. That's an important thing. Iterators, iterators, iterators. Um, I have several videos about iterators. They are, they're wonderful and they will lead you down the path to, you know, generators and yields, all kinds of cool stuff. So yeah, so it, it can work just like a list in this way of being an iterator. You can make them an empty too. So here we go. This is one where it doesn't have the optional initializer. It's just an empty array and you can add things to it. So here we go. This is actually the, this, this wall of text actually falls off. Oh, don't worry. You don't, why would you ever need a, I should not have made a slide this large. Sorry, <laughs> but here we go. Um, we can see uh, I is a sign int in C and just an int in Python. Um, this is, I just copied and pasted this from the docs. You go into the docs if you need an array. I don't know why you would need an array, but um, you can also append to an array just like you would a list. So here we go. We can append. So we've, once again, we made our integer and our array of integers, and then we gave it an initialization of one, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to go back and say we're going to append six to it. We're going to print it out and look, oh, it is exactly how we would expect. 
we appended to the array and it got appended to the array. Yeah. Um, what happens if we try to append apple? Oh, it won't work. Type error. An integer is required. Why? Because as we said before, they have to be all the same. Uh, homogeneous collection. So that means you told, when you created this array, you said this is an, a collection of integers and it can only be integers. And then you tried adding an apple. That's where this key really changes of like with a list, you can pretty much add almost anything to it. But with an array, it has to be whatever that type code was, whatever that initialized code was, it all has to be there. Um, so in summation, Python lists and Python arrays are not the same thing. So please say, just don't use them interchangeably. And I know a lot of people say, oh, oh, but they know what I mean. Okay. Using the correct terminology and technology is really important because confusion can be costly. If you tell someone to do something, programmers and computers do exactly what you tell them to do. And if you don't understand how to communicate to them, it's, it's not their fault when they do it wrong. And they're going to do it wrong because you're going to have some very concrete thinking programmer and you're going to tell them, oh, I want an array that's like this, like this. And he's going to be, he's going to build it for you. Or she's going to build it for you. <laughs> And it's not going to work like you want it. You'd be like, oh, how come I can't add strings to this? Who knows? Whatever. Just try to remember that Python lists and Python arrays aren't the same thing. Um, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of these types of videos talking about Python and computing and stuff like that, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Any uh, questions or comments, of course, put those in the question, right in the, in the questionnaire, no, in the comment area below. And uh, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. I am uh, Mr. Rigdon. And yes, I hope you found this video somehow interesting. <laughs> Thank you for watching.